Welcome back to Bold. I'm Darnell Miller in for Alex Yemick. And today I'm pleased to say we have two Bold alumni with us. We have Luisa Banos and Alexis Guri. Welcome to the show. Hello. Thank Hi. you very much. Thank you for having us. So thank you for coming on. We have a lot to talk about. We, have, uh, we want to talk about entrepreneurship, about your time with St. Thomas, about all you've learned and then what you're doing now. So um, if you don't mind, Alexis, go ahead and just tell us a little bit about yourself and your background at St. Thomas. Okay. Hello, everyone. I graduated 2016 with a major in international development, and I did a lot of um, study abroad through the, obviously, international development program. And uh, yeah, that's all I have to say for this part. Perfect. Luisa? Uh, my name is Luisa. I also graduated in 2016. I studied international development and I minored in finance and economics. And I think that, you know, business background kind of led me to where we are now as entrepreneurs. Oh, I forgot <laughs> to answer that. That's okay. So now you guys are running your own clothing company, yeah. Nur de la Garza. Would you tell us a little bit about how that started and why? Um, <laughs> yeah. <Sure. laughs> well, um, Nor de la Garza is a um, combination of two names. One from my grandmother's name, from my dad's mm -hmm. side. Her name was Noor. And then my great-grandmother's name, from last name from my mom's side, which is de la Garza. So I kind of put it together because they have a special meaning to me. And um, I, after I studied from... After I finished at international development, I went to Milan and studied fashion design. Oh, wow. Yeah, so there's more study abroad there. Uh, and when I came back, I started working for an online showroom, which is, um, it was a great experience. Mm -hmm. But I started, I, my job was reaching out to small brands to mm -hmm. kind of give them some sort of um, exposure. So when I started reaching out to them and realized they're regular people that just went for it, I decided to go for it and came up with, uh, came up with the name with my mom. And uh, then I reached out to Luisa for help with the business aspect of it. And eventually I had the guts and asked her to be my partner. <laughs> and so Luisa, what was it like on your end when you got that phone call from Alexis? How did you feel and what did you say? It's really funny because it all started with just, <laughs> she took me to lunch and we just talked about, you know, what she wanted to do and yeah. she was telling me about it. And I was like, this is great, go for it. Like you can do this. Like. I'll help you, you know, with whatever you need, just because I had that experience mm -hmm. in my previous jobs with, you know, finance and just business in general. And it wasn't until like several, you know, just meetings later little that dates. she was finally, <laughs> little dates, yeah, little, like. <laughs> I was literally court courting her. <laughs> Sorry, my accent comes up every once in a while, but I was courting her and I was like, listen, I really just want you to be my business partner. <laughs> And I said, yes, <laughs> I couldn't help it. I, I mean, I love her style and we both like really bonded over like our love for, you know, fashion and mm -hmm. makeup and just clothes and, and it just, it made sense. Like it's something that I really, you know, enjoy doing and it's really great, you know, to be able to combine both, you know, business and in something that you're really passionate about and really enjoy. Yeah. Okay, awesome. So tell us a little bit about some of the, the design behind New De La Garza. What inspires you and what do you guys look to to find inspiration in your content? As in for social media or? Or no, just in terms of like how you create and how okay, you design. Okay, the collection. Yeah, the collection, Okay, yes. sorry. <laughs> Nowadays you never know. Mm -hmm. um, so the first drop was inspired, you know, by women and I kind of had like a 60s feel, feel to it. Mm -hmm. And then eventually I realized that a lot of the girls who were already starting their careers and, you know, working desk jobs or moving around, you know, from meeting to meeting. And mm -hmm. then some of them had to take uh, trips abroad or, you know, even out of state, you have to sit on a plane and look proper and it's not very comfortable. Mm -hmm. So um, I actually got a lot of my inspiration from the girls around me and more specifically, I mean, Luisa, because we'd be having, you know, meetings and then she'd be like, oh, these trousers, they're just weird. And I was like, oh, interesting. Tell me why. Mm -hmm. And so we took that into consideration. And then we thought, you know, a lot of the girls um, our age don't know how to dress professionally without mimicking their bosses who tend to be older mm -hmm. and um, letting go, kind of shedding the, the high school slash college attire and uh, still look fresh. So that's kind of where the colors came in. We okay. wanted to have a very neutral, slightly fresh palette. Um, so that's, that's kind of the design process of it, yeah. Okay, nice. And so it's, you, you talk about a very particular 
point in in life that kind of transitioning from from being a, a teenager to a, a young adult into discovering who you are and navigating your way um, in your career how how has this process of designing that helped you navigate your way Ooh, that's a loaded question <laughs> um okay well i guess yeah to design for everybody's capsule closet or collection i mm -hmm. really had to dig into mine and let me tell you there were some things in there from like 2009 that just needed to go and <laughs> r.i.p and so um i i really just dove into what would i wear mm -hmm. at my age what i think would be stylish and um and still make me feel like i was taken seriously as a i don't know are we still considered young adults i think on I'm, tour tech yeah. 35 technically oh, sweet. okay <laughs> so you know as a young adult mm -hmm. i wanted to make sure that i still felt young in my clothing and still felt like i was an adult and taken seriously so i looked at what was left of my closet after i did my cleaning mm -hmm. And um, I did a lot of research, mind you. Pinterest was my best friend, as well as like a lot of. There's a lot of media and um, what's it called, social media, mm -hmm. which helps you kind of see what not what's trending, but what's appropriate for a situation like that. And Lisa mm -hmm. always, she always dresses very um, for the part, you know. And so I took notes on like she used to wear more. She wears more trousers than uh, dresses and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I kind of lost my way through your question though. That's okay. Well, so Louisa, what about you? How did, what, what, well, what role do you take in in navigating the the collection and the design? Um, and how has your dress influenced your path in your career? So, um, my role is on the business side of the company. I take care more of the day to day mm -hmm. and the uh, financial aspect, and um, all that goes into kind of running a company, and. Um, I would say, I kind of, you know, to Alexis's point, um, there's definitely a transition whenever you're finishing school and you're just, you know, getting your first job and you're trying to figure out, you know, how to, how to, and I think as, you know, young women, it's even, you're, there's even like more pressure just to like, mm -hmm. you know, dress for the part. And um, there's definitely, you know, that transition that um, happens where you're trying to figure out what your style is and mm -hmm. what image you want to portray and so the thought behind that was to provide you know young women young professional women a um, you know a collection of clothes that were you know appropriate for work they're still mm -hmm. fun so you're still you know you, you still get to express yourself but they're basic enough to wear um, you can dress them up and really make them your own which you know was really great um, and my style has definitely like evolved with that. And I mean, Alexis <laughs> has been a huge part of that. And Let's just say blazers are your best friend. Blazers. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah. I love blazers. Yeah. Blazers, trousers. <laughs> and, and so we, we just, you know, th thought about what, what we, we want to look like and what, um, would work for a wide, you know, range of, you know, women that are kind of like going through this space as well. Mm -hmm. So what has been your favorite piece in the collection so far for each of you? <laughs> it's a great question. Um, I would say my, I love all the accessories. This is mm -hmm. literally all I wear like every single day. <laughs> when they first came in, we both looked at them and looked at each other and we said, okay, there's the sample pieces and then we each get one of each. <laughs> and we wear them all the time. All the time. It's great. And people love them too, which yeah. is even better. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I would say I love the earrings and then clothing wise um the tr the the trousers yeah which i'm wearing right now actually they're super yeah. comfy <laughs> yeah. uh the straight cut trousers for those of you who want to check out the website now uh, for me i'd say the earrings as well we did a limited edition um statement earring it was mm -hmm. called the the statement earring and uh it was beautiful lucite with uh gold leaf in, in it mm -hmm. and those actually sold out immediately oh wow yeah and uh they're very beautiful so i guess those would be my favorite um we took our sweet time designing those so it was kind of <laughs> yes. like i don't know an achievement once you know you see them and you're like yes i can put them on <laughs> um and then we have a a very beautiful black uh, draped neckline dress, mm -hmm. which is perfect. If, you know, you put a blazer on it, you go to a meeting, and then you take the blazer off, you go for a date night, and it just works. Yeah. It takes you from very the day to the little. evening. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. That's perfect. Yeah. Okay, awesome, awesome. So I want to get into you guys' education here at UST. So yes. what were, 
What were some of the things you've learned at St. Thomas that have carried over into the next stage in your career, whether it's the jobs you got immediately after college and then this, this new endeavor? Um, I would say that uh, one of the biggest, I would say, um, lessons? Lessons or, yeah, what I, I mean, I just, we got such a well rounded education with, mm-hmm. uh, you know, learning languages, another language. Um, studying abroad, you know, studying philosophy, theology, and history, and um, talking to, you know, my friends now, not everybody gets, and I, I mean, it seems annoying at the time, but nobody, like, nobody else is required to take those classes, and it, it really adds to, like, the, um, just, just the way that you think and interact process things. Interact with people. The, exactly, the way you mm-hmm. interact with people, and the way that I, you know, process things. And um, I think that exposure to a wide range of subjects mm-hmm. has definitely helped um, me and I, both of us personally in, um, you know, interacting with other people, like, you know, talking, bis- I mean, negotiating. And I mean, now we work with people from, you know, different parts of the world. And because we both oh, wow. studied international development, I mean. There's no culture clash. We're really good at mediation. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Um, we understand that you have to put yourself in their, pers- like, you know, other people's shoes, basically. Mm-hmm. And I mean, I learned a lot um, from the international development department specifically because I did so many study abroads and mm-hmm. they were all different countries. Like I did six months in Ireland, a summer oh, in the wow. Czech Republic. Mm-hmm. I also went to Taiwan with Luisa and, um, y- you know, you, they're totally different cultures and mm-hmm. I did not have one single bad experience in any of them because they teach you how to appreciate them. And I think that in turn, uh, led me to, you know, have the courage to go and study in Italy in a language I didn't know yet because I studied French here and I did the entire course in Italian. Oh, wow. Yeah. I was like, if I'm going to do it, Mm -hmm. I'm going to go full in and Mm -hmm. immerse myself. And it's been one of the most satisfying experiences of my life. And it's led me to, you know, create something beautiful with one of my closest friends from university. So um, definitely a lot of lessons. Oh, and I mean, the art department. If I can just say the amount of times I had to reference back to the, you know the old ma- the old masters and um, mm-hmm. and just bring some of that education in as well. Nice. Yeah. And so I know you did a lot of study abroad as well, Louisa. How did that experience abroad help you in the business aspect of this? Um, so with studying abroad, I did you know the one with Alexis in Taiwan, and we did the one in Japan mm-hmm. as well, uh, which were both really great experiences. Um, I think that's something very unique to St. Thomas just because they were both very small groups, which Mm -hmm. allows you to, you know, grow closer to your peers, really immerse yourself in the culture. And um, there's a certain aspect of like adaptability that goes into that. And and you have to be very adaptable to be successful in, you know, life in in general. And Mm -hmm. this Mm -hmm. that has come particularly handy in this venture that we're in. Um, So I would say, you know, that had a huge factor in like impact yeah Mm -hmm. played a huge impact so is there anything that you've run into in your um in your time starting this company and working through it that you're you can you can directly reference like a moment at saint thomas or with your professors you're just like yeah i'm glad i learned that because this is this is handy and it's handy right now (laughs) (laughs) i can definitely say (laughs) that being on the finance part now um i it just <laughs> makes sense Let's it just makes start. sense it helped so much those accounting classes those mm-hmm. finance classes and even like studying economics all that like it just it all comes back and i mean i find myself having to like think back on wait when did i learn this and like let me just go back and look or like um you know yeah but it and just having that background even if you know unfortunately mm-hmm. like you forget some things and, and you books. have to go back and <laughs> you still have all your notes in your books too i mean i don't have the notes but i have the books because okay. you know those were an investment so i was like let's go back to the books and you know you get kind of flashbacks of the teacher you know mm-hmm. little mean girls moment with the limit does not exist kind of thing <laughs> <laughs> and i was like oh it makes sense now and um yeah it really does make sense now wow yeah yeah no we got a great education here and it it's definitely come in very handy and helped a lot yeah i mean we're very grateful you know when we launched um this collection 
the majority of um, our friends, when we realized it, were people we met at St. Thomas. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're all from different backgrounds, different um, religions even, and they all came together to show their support for us. And it really was such a beautiful energy in the environment. Like, you felt loved and you felt like you, like we felt we were, we created something special yeah. and that there was a space for us yeah. to, to grow yeah. and we had the support. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's really, really cool to hear about that because like having seen, I remember you guys, when you guys were here and like seeing where you guys were, and I remember you mentioning that you wanted to go to Milan. I was like, oh, that's cool. Yeah. But like, <laughs> but like then you don't think about it and you yeah. see like two years later, oh my God, yeah. yeah, you come back and it's like, all right, yeah, so I did it and I'm starting this company and I'm doing the thing I said I was going to to do and pursuing my dreams and that's like that's wild to see because Thank you. to have that courage to do that not I mean everybody can talk about it but not everybody's willing to do that yeah absolutely. and that's that's crazy and that's super like super inspiring and super super cool thank you thank you very much uh, I think we did it it's it's very much a team effort and uh there's there's no way we could have done it without our family and friends mm -hmm. and of course each other yeah um, yeah that's super cool. So I know like with all this business background and with all the classes you've taken, something that wasn't accounted for in the classes is social media. Oh yeah. <laughs> and so how has learning how to navigate that um, influenced your business and the way you, you approach things now? Okay, you're gonna might have to repeat the second part of that question okay. later on. But um, so yes, yeah, so St. Thomas, I mean, social, I found out like uh, Instagram started, I think our freshman year, it mm -hmm. really started taking yeah. off. So we're definitely old millennials, I guess. Yeah, we're, yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> right. fair. No, kind of, kind we're of. like in the middle. Anyways, of I feel like an old millennial. And uh, to the point where my friends had to teach me how to use it and I, I did not know what was going on even to where I started uh, going to uh, fashion school. Mm -hmm. And that's when we, we had courses on how to deal with social media oh, wow. and do okay. trend forecasting. And uh, you know, you were in school with, with bloggers. So well, I was in school with bloggers <laughs> and, um, and l everything's planned to the T, to the T. And Facetune is like, you know, the first thing they mention whenever mm -hmm. they're like, oh, you need to start your Instagram. And that's one of the things that we noticed we did not want to do. Mm -hmm. We saw there was so much out there that was Photoshopped and altered and just not, there was some sort of um it took too much to create a genuine moment that mm -hmm. it wasn't genuine enough okay you know so that's what led us to create our social media in a way that's a little bit more raw mm -hmm. and relatable so um we're constantly trying to see how that adapts especially you know now in age everything's about sustainability and mm -hmm. um relative relative what is it? relatable but yeah being uh, yeah relatable yeah. yeah okay and so um it was very important for us to to learn how to manage you had to learn the tricks of the trade and then mm -hmm. how to apply it so that we can kind of shift you know how mm -hmm. people react to us so instead of you're gonna see very rarely edited photos on our instagram you're gonna see a lot of um people that you may know you know a lot of people um that model for us are friends or people that mm -hmm. you just go up to in a coffee shop and say, you know what, I like your style. And um, yeah. That's super cool. And how does social media affect the business side of this? Well, it's a great platform to kind of get our name out there. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I definitely like the whole industry, I think, has shifted since social media has become such a um, valuable way to just, you know, get your name out there and show, you know, everybody what you're doing. So it's a great you know, tool that we utilize mm -hmm. to portray what we're doing, um, what we stand for, and just like show people our stuff. And um, it's, I mean, it, it's, it's been really good. Alexis has built up a great page and I mean, all that she's learned has come in very, very handy. Our goal is to empower women. And mm -hmm. um, we, we try to do that by putting the women that empowered us out there. Yes. Oh, exactly wow. exactly that's fantastic that's a really nice, i like the way that wrap right there <laughs> that was really good <laughs> thank you so i guess I, one of the so we're rounding out to the end and so i have a, just a handful of more questions for you and so what are some of the the tips like maybe three or four tips between the two of you 
that you guys would offer to other students who are interested in entrepreneurship or interested in maybe creating their own business or starting their own ideas? How would you say they go about it and what things should they consider when they're trying to start that process? Um, I would say have a plan and it's okay if that plan isn't perfect and even if it doesn't pan out exactly how you want it to. Um, honestly, like you said earlier, being able to just take the step of starting, you know, if you have a great idea, even if it seems like so like un unrealistic or, mm -hmm. or like why do this? Or, I mean, taking that step of actually, you know, going for it is, it's just so huge. And even if it doesn't work out, the fact that, I mean, that in itself, I think is an accomplishment. Um, so, I mean, I would, my tip would be to just go for it. And I mean, obviously have a plan and, and, mm -hmm. um, you know, do your research and <laughs> oh, yeah. definitely do your research. If you want to get a little bit more technical, just divide your plan, basically what your product is, what mm -hmm. legalities you need to have checked because you need to understand the business you're going into mm -hmm. and the permits and everything that go behind it. Mm -hmm. Cause something may look very easy, but, and it is, it's just time consuming. So make sure you check off all your boxes in terms of what you need legally to create that business. And then, um, what you want as a product and what the mission and what it's gold and mm -hmm. it's gold. The no, purpose, the purpose, like, the goal. And, uh, and then finally I would just say, what makes you unique? What makes you mm -hmm. something that, um, people should want to participate in or mm -hmm. buy? Yeah one last thing i want to add to that definitely like pay attention <laughs> in class. oh yeah i mean there's it's just so crazy like thinking back on all the information that we you know were given and i mean it's like an overwhelming amount that and you can only you know retain so much mm -hmm. i guess in the moment but i mean I kind of, I kind of, I was telling a friend yesterday, I was like, I wish I could go to school again. So that oh, yeah. I could learn everything all over again, just <laughs> to have it like even more fresh in my mind. <laughs> and now we actually have specific questions to ask. Exactly. You know? so it's really funny, though, because it, like, it like, takes the experience, you know, going through this oh, experience yeah. to like a whole other level. take you full circle. Yeah. <laughs> to, yeah. know what you, to know what you want to know. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> and also, you're never too young and you're never too old to start something that's, you know meaningful mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so go for it like lisa said just do it just, just do, do it, it. Um, <laughs> thank you i don't think we can use that it's nike but we'll just say it's shia labeouf not nike <laughs> uh, yeah there we go <laughs> all right so the last question i have for you is where can they find you online uh we're at www at nor n-o-u-r de la garza dot com and you can also follow us on social media at nor de la garza uh, we're everywhere, I think, right? Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, yeah. Instagram. All the... <laughs> <laughs> Your email the inbox. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get there. <laughs> no, yeah, but um, if you're interested in seeing a piece and you didn't have a chance to go look at it at a pop-up, uh, mm -hmm. just DM us and we're always, you know, happy to have someone come check it out at, uh, or we'll come to you. Just, you know, we'll work something out. We want our pieces to be able to reach everyone, so mm -hmm. we'll figure out a solution. Awesome, awesome. Well, Luis and Alexis, thank you for being on our show, Bold. We really appreciate everything you have to say. We hope you the best in all that you do. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. Start now. <laughs> thank you. This is awesome. Yeah, thank you.